Uh, I thought we uh, I thought we did a great job tonight defensively. Um, it's, a, it's a that was a big win for us, and, and everyone might say, "Well, how's it? You know, why so or whatever?" You know, Bobby Hain means the world to me, and that was a tough that, that was a tough tough day for me, from 6:45 when I woke up this morning to when I just gave that kid a hug in the locker room. So that was um, I wanted this win probably more than anyone that we've had this year. And I wanted it for that dude. And I know he didn't play a minute, but uh, he's just a great, he's a great human being. And um, I'm really, really happy about the win tonight. Did you see your team beat off to that energy with Bobby? There's no doubt. There's no doubt about it. You know what I mean? They were so, you know, I'm sitting around yesterday and, you know, around 1 o'clock in the afternoon, I said, I want to put him in the starting lineup. So I called the official, I called the league, I was on the phone, you know what I mean, we, you know what I'm saying, you know, we got to make this happen. So, um, I love that dude. I mean, he's, he know, there's nobody that's a player in, in life in basketball that's, basketball's meant everything to him. He's handled it so gracefully. He's been at every practice, he's been encouraging, he's talked to guys. So, yeah, he didn't play a minute, but that win is for, for that guy. No, uh-uh, nope. You got, you got some, um, the yeah, you know, I mean, you know, I, I told our guys at the half, um, listen, we've been here six times this year where we've played outstanding first half. And I said, the first five minutes or first four minutes, we just can't not let, let's not have a turnover. Let's you know, and then you know that. So we came down and you know had two turnovers and two missed foul shots and and all of a sudden you know. Uh, but I will say that you know the maturity of the group is when they got on the floor for two loose balls during that stretch, and you know uh, uh, Cisco made two great passes, drive and kick out threes. And that, then it went from five back to 11 in two possessions because we made two back-to-back -back threes. And then I'm not sure – I mean, you, you guys have the stats. I'm not sure that they cut it back after that time. I don't think they got back to the single digits, did it? What was the key to the coach? I mean, 16 to 55 and you go down and you have a We just got some stops, you know what I mean? Um, defensive coordinator this year didn't do a very good job. Uh, he did a better job tonight, John. Um, you know, we just, uh, you know, they shot 37%, 23 from the three. You know, I just, uh, you know, we, we guarded better. And uh, uh, as, as good as we have been offensively, if we can guard, um, we can meet some success. Yeah, you know, it's good to have him back. You know, uh, you know, Jordan. You know, Kaufman might be one of the best, you know, defensive rebounders in the league. He's so big down there. He gets, you know, he gets rebounds. But, you know, to have that extra guy to come in and, you know, I think we had five guys in double figures tonight, uh, I, I, I think. So, um, you know, he, he played well. Is that the best that he's played since the Yeah. That's the best, that's the best he's played since, you know, clearly. Yeah, you can go back to that game. Yeah, I, I would say that. Obviously, since he's, you know, since the injury. You know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, we, we have Detroit. Um, um, you know, I haven't, you know, I, we've had two great games with them. Um, it's on a neutral floor. Um, you got to stay in front of those guys. Um, you know, they're obviously talented, and we'll, and we'll talk on Monday about it. You know what I mean? Well, I'll, I'll, I'll have more of a. Yeah, I did. You know what I mean? I, um, like I said, you know, there's there's a lot of guys in that room that uh, you know that think the world of Bobby. I mean, I'm not the only guy. You know what I mean? So when you know, I talked about it yesterday making it a priority for him to be able to experience tonight. Uh, I think he got his uh, boot off on Wednesday for the very first time. And 
I mean, you know, think about it, guys. You know, just who who for who any of any of us goes into a game on December 21st, think, you know, thinking or knowing that that's your last game of your career. You know, what I mean, you know, December 21st, he played three minutes, and his career was done. So, um, I like I said, it, it was an emotional time for me. I love that kid. Coach, if the team plays as well as they play tonight, how deep in the tournament run could you have? Well, I mean, I, you know, obviously the one and two seeds get really, you know, get buys. And uh, right right off the bat, to be honest with you, my first, my, you know, my very first thought when you asked that question was, you know, we went on, on Saturday, the game's at 730. We have to turn around and play at 3 o'clock the next day. So, um, I won't go into my opinion on that. <laughs> oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. Yeah, and we, and we talked about that, Dana, at the time that we went into the Florida tournament. You know what I mean? But that was back in 2013. When it, <laughs> it, seems like, it seems like it was that long ago. But, you know, we talked about it at that time, about, you know, turnaround. The positive side to this is you've already seen all these guys. So you're not going to sit around and have to do a ton of scouting report stuff or, you know, whatever. You know, what that does for us now is, it, you know, because it's a, you know, 7.30 or 7 o'clock or 7.30 game, then we get a later practice on Friday, which means that we don't have to get up at 5.30 in the morning to go to Detroit. There's a lot of real positive things that happened tonight for us.